fishing. It is at least one of many great American pastimes. And whether you fish or not, the idea of having that special trophy hanging over the mantle or on your outdoor bar is appealing to many. But if you personally haven't accomplished that big catch, there is a way to show off your gamesmanship. If you find yourself traveling down this busy roadway and you pass a lot of Oh, sawdust flying through the air. Almost looks like a snowstorm, doesn't it? You're probably watching Richard Covey in action. Yeah, Richard takes raw wood like this beautiful cedar here and uh, one of these little implements like this here. And then, as you can see, a couple of works in progress. And if we move down the line here, you'll find that his finished product is absolutely exquisite. Perfect for hanging in any backyard bar or any fine museum, for that matter. Richard Covey is the fish carver. A one-man wooden fish factory, creating art out of timber. One of a kind art, and he's been doing it for 20 years. You know, I, I've, I've sold pieces to senators. Uh, I've, I've sold pieces to fire department guys. I, I, of course, I give the police officers and the fire department guys breaks all the time because they're always coming in here, you know. Just I feel honored, you know. Richard will personally carve the ornamental fish of your dreams using his chainsaw, a lot of love, and a vision. His vision, the way he sees it. That's a smoking redfish. <laughs> That's smoking redfish, get it? That's funny. If you haven't gathered by now, Richard is his own man. A man of many skills and talents. A man who in his time has had many careers. While most of us would prefer not to be under the hot sun seven days a week amid the flying sawdust, this man has simplified his life to one task. One task that he does very well. And he wouldn't have it any other way. Now, you're out here in the heat. Ugh. You're out here sweating, carving, yes. working. Richard, something tells me you'd really rather be in an office pushing pencils uh, across uh, paper. That would last about a week. Right? That would, I would, I would, I'd probably go nuts. I'm, I never was an inside type person. The thing about Richard is he's a true artist. You see this piece of an old sawed off stump? You know what I see? Piece of an old sawed off stump. You know what Richard sees? Shark jaws. Watching an artist at work can be quite inspiring. I figured, what the heck? Maybe I can take a raw piece of wood and bring it up to scale. Get it? Scale? All right, I got my log. I got my saw. And I got my vision. Stand back. You gotta see this. Wow. I think I'm getting better. David, what did you do? Isn't it great? What? Oh, come on. Is that not the most beautiful toothpick you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, David. Yeah, you got a bunch of them out there, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it works great. Okay, not so great. It does take a pretty special talent to pull this off. And as Richard will be the first to tell you, it's really not for everybody. As for my artistic talent, well, according to the true artist, my skills pretty much blow. 